What's up guys, welcome to today's video. I'm not gonna lie, I've been dreading this drive. I uh, think last time that I went from LA to San Diego, I had a ton of traffic and it took forever. This time I left LA around like 9 a.m. and it was like an hour. I mean, I left Anaheim, but it was like an hour down to San Diego. Sick. It's so beautiful in Southern California. It's definitely been a while since I've been to San Diego. Last time I was down here, I was hanging out with TJ and Tanner, and today we actually are going to TJ's shop. We don't have any real plans for filming or anything. I just know that uh, while I'm in California, I had a car that I could drive around. I've been dying to see TJ's shop. See all his cars in one place. Just hang out a bit. All right, I think this is the spot. Look who it is. I'm so excited to see your I shop. you're moving to California. That's what I read in all your comments that you're moving. Is that true? It would, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I've been super jaded towards California, but this trip, I think the traffic hasn't been that bad. And now that I have like a cool car to drive around, it's pretty nice. I'd consider it. It's pretty nice. It's yeah. pretty nice. What's up, bro? Long time no see. What's up, dog? You can't believe you Just get here and TJ already puts me to work. He threw some toe plates on the ground and commanded me to align his Z for him. So. He said he'd drive with me tomorrow if I get this thing sorted, so here we go. I was just telling the internet how you got me working like a slave out here. Yeah, you know, he comes here, he thinks he's gonna hang out. I said, nah, we're gonna put you to work. So Adam is helping me dial on my car, get some LZ toe adjustment. But I'm hyped. This car was broken the last time I was in Florida. You tried blaming it on when me I too. Left, Bro, no it one drove. No, no, it wasn't. It was, it was not. TJ drove this car the last couple laps with Cletus and his front end had like three inches of play. We told him he was crazy to get out. Pat was worried you were gonna kill yourself. Yeah, well, rather than killing myself, we killed the car. The rack, we took it off yesterday, the rack was grenaded. Like it literally had, right behind like the steering input shaft, there was like a grenade hole size. So it just exploded. Like this, I got it from my, when the trailer guy dropped it off from Florida. He's like, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get this off. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, the steering doesn't work. So it was like super fucked up. Less talking, more aligning. Yeah, yeah. Do a measure. Feels right at home with my Ben Pack lifts. Got it all lined up. It's gonna be the first time I've had this baby on a lift in a while. I'm actually going to go ahead and put a couple tacks on my subframe so my lower control arm stops moving around. Um, one of the tracks we're going to is gonna have a lot of bumps and stuff and I don't wanna be fiddling with that the whole day. So I do actually have a brand new subframe, or I should say a new used subframe coming for this car to alleviate those problems. So I'm not really worried about tack welding it just to make sure it doesn't move. So to give you guys a better look at what's been going on, if you look here, there's this nub on the side of the subframe, and that keeps the eccentric bolt in place, and keeps this all the way over. On this side, it's all flattened out and damaged, so I basically just manually would like pry it over, and then just try to get it to stay with friction. I even put this little bolt in to try to get it to stay there, but it doesn't really do the trick. I'm still gonna have to pry a little bit more, and then I'm gonna tack it to keep it in place. Cleaned it off a little bit, I'm just gonna put a little tack there, and a little tack here, just to hopefully hold it in place a little bit better. So I successfully managed to fool the hunt quarters into trusting me with their welder when I have no idea what I'm doing. I just kind of pretended like I knew what I was doing and it worked. Got my little ghetto tack on there. A very sad little tack in back. Dude, look at my intercooler hanging on for dear life up there. Whoa. <laughs> nice. I just had some uh, self taps holding in place. Y'all got oh. any self tappers? Yeah, we got a, we got a few wood screws lying around. <laughs> we can we can donate. Oh my gosh. Hey, but it proves you can literally go across the country in the same car and rip it all day. Yeah, you don't, and, and you don't need an overbuilt 350Z almost pro 2 car, but don't ever drive in pro. Your car's sick though. It works. It gets down. I blame Adam because every time I'd ask Adam a question about getting parts, he'd be like, oh, you could get this, but you could also just upgrade because you're already doing it. And then what do I know? Scope creep. It just, it ended up being what it is. It's tough for me to like retain this car being simple. I'm like, already like, oh, but like an extra 50 wheel. It, it's a struggle. I know. Like you preach it and I'm impressed on how you're able to keep that. So, well, the, the trick is like, be, you, like we obviously want the crazy stuff, so you, you kind of gotta have multiple, right? You gotta have the simple ones, and you gotta have the crazy ones that you can just afford to just let sit on the left. Yeah, I was gonna broken. say, but you also have like six drift cars, so you have the luxury of keeping one super, super simple. But when like your entire self worth and joy comes from drifting, you gotta have part of it. It's justified. Yeah. I mean, if I couldn't drift, I don't know what I'd be doing. Probably drugs, a lot of meth. 
drunk and mad. What about BMX? Would that still be a thing or no? <laughs> it would be quite the combo. Drugs, meth, a little bar spin. You need like a pretty big one, huh? Not something I'm really feeling like fixing right now, but I did notice my exhaust is full on like touching my transmission brace and the chassis back here, which is not helping with all the vibrations and noises I'm hearing. I'm not gonna lie, when I walked up to the front door of your place, seeing those three cars together, they look pretty good sitting next to each other. Thank you, thank you. You know, Adam was saying off camera he's about to get a Lambo. I don't know if he told you guys about that yet, but... I said a Ferrari, dude. Oh, shoot, Ferrari. You're, he's always getting them mixed up. He owns one and he doesn't even know. So he's got this thing right here. They're all dusty, so don't judge me. I've seen this thing in many different... I've to wash my cars for me. Many different phases I've seen this car in. Yeah, the wrap's finally off it. We had that livery, which some people hated, some people liked it, but it was what it was. I really enjoyed it. No livery. Yeah, this is like, Good. this is my favorite favorite stage of the car for sure. This thing right here. Wait, so I'm about to do an overhaul on it. Literally is 700 horsepower on stock brakes that are RZ from Japan. So the turbo brakes are still like the US NA size brakes, so they're like super small. So it's like super sketchy driving this thing, but a lot of fun. And then we just got this, which is like I've wanted this car since I was like a little baby so to have this is like insane and we just straight piped it yesterday are you gonna start it he's thinking about yeah, it he's thinking about it we gotta warm up though have the keys on me i want to know the story how can you guys get away in california with just having like your name on the plate instead of an actual plate yeah so i got impounded that, that that's not where i was going i know a lot of people though that don't put plates on their cars is that a thing yeah a lot of exotic owners don't put plates on their cars i've like had i've so right now I have temp registration on this car. So I don't have an actual license plate. So if a, a cop could pull me over and be like, yo, you have no plates, what's going on? And I can show my tag and because I don't have a rear windshield, I can't put a little temp tag. So I'm legally driving with no plates right now. Some cops care, some don't. I'm friends with tons of cops and they always say like, if a cop's looking to get you in trouble, they can pull you over for it. But for exotics, they kind of just let you go. Huh. It's kind of, it's like a weird, like, I don't know. It's like an exotic thing, I guess. That sounds really pretentious to say, but like, it's kind of true. His doors go up, that's so cool. <laughs> that sounds wild! It's, dude, NA V12 can't beat that. The cool thing is, it has a very different, like, startup noise. You know how cars are going to go like, whoa! Another garage? I'm an asshole. Yeah, I don't think you can hear me very much. What if it's your You'll for sure want to plug your ears. I mean, who knows? You're probably just, just as deaf as I am, so you'll be all right. What? Yeah, nice speed. You, need to, stick your, you need to stick your head out and smile, because this will probably be my thumbnail. Okay. That does sound really cool. How cool is that? Have you made any videos driving it with a new exhaust yet? No. Oh wow. Not yet. So this is unreleased special footage this they just heard. Unreleased footage. You're gonna see it before my channel. This thing though, man. I love this version of this car right now. It looks really good. I like don't know what to do with it. Sell it like, to me. Do a giveaway on it. No. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. You don't like it? I love it. I love it. I, I don't know. We're we're different. You have like, you have twice the amount of cars as me, but like drive them more than I drive half the amount. Of this is a very me style car. I like this a lot. Except it's on air. You wouldn't be on. Oh yeah, you're not wrong. But yeah, this this is like one of my this is like my favorite car. I think I'm ready to own an FD, TJ.
Yeah, I don't know. Don't so, don't get rid of yours until I get mine, so at least we can squad for a little while. You want to do a little? Uh, well, yeah, I'll come out there again, see if my shit blows up. I'd love to bring mine out here. Maybe that's what I'll bring back to Hoon again. Yeah, you're like talking that, that you're cool. loving California now. Trying to get some excuses to come out here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna build an FD and I'm gonna bring it out to the burn yard and I'm gonna bring it here. Or I'll go to the burn yard with you. Okay. And we'll see if I can destroy my car there. I'll definitely break my axles and my diff. I already did all that. Yeah, you're gonna want to upgrade that, which you, you will. What are you running for a diff? Just internals, stock kit. I built. I did an OS Skycan in the rear. But it's still stock uh, yeah. housing, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. But you gotta build it. What about axles? Right. I've been fine on these. Hmm. So, so we'll see, we'll see what we do. We'll see, what should I do in an FDRX7? Probably an LS. I, I was thinking that, honestly. No, what, I think it would be like a really stupid swap, but it would get a lot of attention is doing an LS Supra. Yeah. Because no one, no one does that. Or, what if I get an FD and then put the rotary in the Supra? <laughs> that, that would that'd yeah. be. Is that a Supra? Four-door Supra. It took me like 20 minutes to convince CJ to take the chaser. I'm like, yo, we're gonna be in traffic. We can take another car. It's not cool, but we could take it. And I was like, no, we're automotive YouTubers. We're gonna take the chaser. Even if I stall every single time, I'm gonna look at you and smile. I'm like, fine. I'm so I'm make your life easy. I'm so glad you were out of focus for that entire clip because nothing you said was relevant. It was. It was I don't. How could you not take a fun car? And you just like, we go out to lunch. I'm like, oh, what fun cars we can take? We can squat over there. We go. He's like, oh, parking. We'll take the truck. I'm, I'm thoughtful. I'm Let's go. Let's go, <laughs> ladies. My legs are cold. <laughs> well, I don't have any heat, so sorry about that. Here, where are we going? Adam was like, wow, I really want to rock climb. And then Calvin overheard <laughs> Adam say that, and Calvin's like, oh my god, I really want to rock climb. So we're out. We're about to go rock climbing. We were gonna go without you. You know that, right? Yeah. That was the original plan. What? Yeah. Yeah, we were gonna ditch you, dude. How did I head? No, I'm just kidding. All right. Well, sick guys. Thanks. What's so, this town called? That we're this in? is Oceanside. This is Tanner. You oh, Tanner lived in Ocean, ba Ocean, Ocean Beach. Ocean Beach. Way Not the same thing. South. Not the same so thing. So this is like kind of like a old school beach city. And apparently the rock climbing place here is like really good. That's what I'm told. I have no idea. This window's good, by the way. Have you showed them this? You might, you had to have showed them this. Come on, TJ. At least pretend like you watch my videos. No, what? Okay. All right, let's play a game. <laughs> oh, wait, that would be a funny game. Who knows more about yeah, each other's let's stuff? let's play a game. Let's, let's see. <laughs> let's not. Let's not. Let's, let's not say we did. Okay, so the answer is yes. We're going to go rock climbing, and I'm going to be the fastest climber you've ever seen. It's not about speed, dude. It's always about not speed. Really Come about on, we're speed. automotive YouTubers. You got Gosh, it. it's all about speed. Listen, you got that crank climbing ability. I got wheel. Oh, you yeah. You feel okay. me? Yeah, but you don't know me. I got some slicks for shoes, so I'm going to get so much grip up the slope. You're screwed. <laughs> You're screwed. Uh, I wish I had, like, a GoPro, like, helmet camera, because I, I mean, oh. I'm... I'm probably gonna try to film a couple clips because I think it's gonna be funny. That would have been sick if we put our GoPro. We could like do like a POV action shot. It would be the least exciting thing in the world. Probably. It would be the worst. Unless someone falls, then it would be kind of sick. You could just see someone falling down. DJ has no idea what he's going to right now. I'm the world's best rock climber. I do it all the time. Damn it, DJ. Dude. Reese's pumps all. There's like the six pump. in there, dude. Them for later, Eat those, bro. Munch, munch, munch. Oh, yeah, man. Really All right, so the rear door needs to close, and then I'll close the front door because it's kind of complicated. Get <laughs> oh, your mitts off me. Um, like, you have to have a license to drive a car. How you doing, TJ? <laughs> he made it. Calvin looks like a pro with a backpack. Did like <laughs> you say a tactical ninja? <laughs> adapt. 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 Learn. Visualize. Adapt. Become. Morph. Look at him. Little spider monkey on the wall. He has that seven foot tall. Length arm. That didn't make sense. Switching up the right to the left. Oh, the left oh. to the right. The crossover. 
There he goes, perfect. With using his LZ surging forward, closing the gap. Oh, he's almost there. He got That's it. it. Gotta grab the top. He got it. That's it. You got it, mate. Oh! Like a true champion. <laughs> All right, so Nick has been trying to teach us how to dyno, and uh, it's like a jump between holds. Are you gonna do it? Let's see if you can do it, TJ. Stand up and then jump. Yep, yep. Gear it up. Ready, go. Yo! So close. All right, I'm gonna do it. I thought I had it. I'm gonna back you up. All right. You got this. Adam, Adam, Adam almost nailed this on the first try. And I almost nailed my head. Go from the the start hold. Just from the start low hold and jump to the middle two. That's too easy. From oh. this one? The tall one is the cool one. Yeah, it's that one's like he wants scary to see. because it doesn't look as tall as it really is. But then when you fall, you you fall oh, longer dude, than you think I you're gonna fall. fall. Forever. Yeah, you like. <laughs> a little, a little nerve wracking. All right, good luck, but my it's doable. dude. Like I got my tips on there. Just gotta commit to it. Hold on. Was it from here? Put your left hand. I've got my left hand on that blue one. A little lower. You went higher than that. Lower hold. Right next to your left shoulder, you're looking at that, that one. one. There you go. Yeah. Send it! Ooh. Now from there, jump to the top. <laughs> Fuck, now I gotta do it. That's so high. Like, you do a double one, jump to the mid ones where you start and then jump again. Oh, I can't do two. Hey, don't, I, don't, I'm, I'm chalking up. Don't pat it. <laughs> <laughs> Look! I was psyching myself out. Adam LZ on his qualifying round. Here in San Diego, California, at the Solid Rock, goes in on a fast entry, staying left with a big flick, grabbing a bit of the hydro as he sends it in. When was the last time you saw the back of your knees used? In a <laughs> Jim. <laughs> oh, you, he's so tall. He just all seven foot one of him. <laughs> all seven foot one, a hundred and. 48 pounds of Mr. LZ stretches his way to the top for a staggering record. Both At, hands on the final block. I believe is this it. is the only climber we've ever seen wear skinny black jeans as he climbs. <laughs> you did that one better that time. The t more tired you get, the better of a climber you get. He's been always wanting to do this whole time. The only reason we got him to go climbing is because he wanted to go get a California burrito next door. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the California burritos next door. It's gonna be good. That was beast. TJ, what, what's going on here? Where are we? What, why is this such a big deal? Right, this is a local hot spot. San Diego's Mexican food, untouchable. So I told Adam to get a California burrito. Anyone lives in California, you know we did them right. You gotta take his virginity right here. That's big. Is that French fries in a burrito? California style, man. You don't trust me. Yes. All right, I'll give it a shot. I'm definitely not a burrito person, but I'll have to admit that the burrito was good. And what else is gonna be good tomorrow? More drifting. Why not? See you then.